information to you know to share with me to help me to understand your goals? Um, on the one hand, um, uh, Hio Hio Sek Kong, H H Y O S E O K, last name is K A H N G, says, oh, "Charlie, we're not ready to show anybody anything." Well, I mean, I'm not. I'm. I, I'm. In, I'm not. I want to be really proud of what I show somebody. And I, on the other hand, say, uh, I want to co-develop this with with you, uh, and I want to show it to you earlier. Uh, and the earliest that I can get anything done uh, would be sometime on Thursday. Okay. So it's. Uh, it's not, I, and I think that I'll have enough that you can say, Charlie and Heo, or mainly Heo, because I'm going to be in, in on travel, here are the changes you need to work on or the edits you need to make so when you get back from, uh, uh, from, from Panama on the, on the uh, Monday the 9th, uh, we'll have more done so that what you're looking at on Monday the 9th uh, in the next week or so, can be rapidly turned into a into a provisional patent application. Right. That, that, okay. That, that, the process and time frame makes sense to me. That sounds sounds like it sounds insane, but it's 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 reasonably insane. <laughs> it's not unusual in my experience. Okay. Just uh, when I think. Provisional patent applications broadly, I think, um, kind of a month or so from start to finish. So that that's about what we're talking about here. So if we could if we could meet with you or show you something, and I prefer to meet with you, and we can drive out there mm -hmm. uh, with whatever we've got, and show you everything we've got, and then you you give us marching orders of things for Heo to do well. Because he's not coming back here for two for for seventeen eighteen days, but he can work on it while I'm gone, yep. and I can edit. But I want to have a meeting with I want to have a meeting with you on Thursday, uh, more in the more midday, to give us marching okay. orders. Okay, uh, that's fine. I have um, I have a meeting already scheduled. For 2 p.m., in which I'll have to leave the office about 1 p.m. Yeah. So could we? But I'm free before then. So as long as we can meet and plan to be done by 1 p.m. Well, what I would that. in that in that case, I would plan that we would leave here 9 9:30 uh -huh. and get there 10:30. Yeah. And then that would give us uh, some some time to dig into it. Uh, and put the fire under us to get something done tomorrow, in spite of the fact that I've got a, a lot of other work to do tomorrow. But uh, but let's get it done. You're probably used to juggling forty balls, so I'm, I'm sure you'll get it done. Um, yeah, that that would that would work very well for me. About ten thirty, so plus or minus, and I'm flexible. Uh, this Thursday would be wonderful, and if. Um, if you could share the document before then, at least so I have a few minutes to scan it, if you finish something and feel comfortable with sharing it before Thursday at 10.30, feel free to email it. Well, we will definitely do that. Uh, and we'll, we'll, we'll share it with you maybe in Google Drive or something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, but in the meantime... Uh, between now and then, I'm going to be meeting Heo about four or five this afternoon, and we'll have until nine o'clock on on uh, Thursday to send you something, and probably that that's when we would send it to you before we came out. Uh, tell me, I'm going to write notes here. Tell me um, five things that you'd like me to think about uh, incorporating in what we show you to make it the most useful to you. I would start with um, a one-paragraph executive summary of the invention. Okay. So I presume 
at the end of the day, the invention is some type of, uh, of uh, process or method. That, that's that's how I think of it. Uh, and that, that seems most likely to me. Uh, so thinking about it in those terms, you've got a method to achieve some result or results, and this executive summary should, at a high level, describe uh, the steps and the results. Okay. Uh, and then, and I may not even get to five. Uh, so that that's a starting point. And, and then uh, from there, I think that the executive summary becomes an outline of the patent application. And the second step is to uh, add detail uh, of each step um, that is sufficient in some to allow uh, another person to read this document and be able to go away and, um, and, and replicate your method. I think uh, uh, that, that's very reasonable and even understandable because we've been spent, we've been spending uh, time now documenting uh, the uh, sort of the executive summary and the steps. Part of the way we've done it is that we that there's one part to to describe uh, the way you would build the structure. And uh, describe not only the structure, uh, a little bit of the functions of it, uh, and some of the network and interconnections, but the process step is how you would use it after you can see what it is. And those steps we want to show how our methodology is taking uh, Breakthrough knowledge is sort of step one. Uh, slicing and dicing it and curating it in step two. Displaying it in step three. Training for it in uh, over six months or some period of time in step four. And then using a database to manage the whole thing in step five. So that, that's the, there's a three-dimensional structure and there's a five-step process. Okay. Well, that makes sense. So I, I think we, we're on the same page in terms of the approach. If you can, if you can achieve that by this Thursday at 9 a.m., I think we'll be in, in good shape. We will. We accept this mission impossible. <laughs> okay. Uh, um, do, you know, do you know where I am? I, I I do. I've already Google mapped you. Okay. You're coming from Cambridge, I imagine. And I, I'm planning to come out uh, the, the route, I guess it's 95 or the Mass Turnpike. Yeah, 90, the, the pike. Yeah. Not, yeah it's, it's easy to get to. Obviously, you know, with today's technology, it'll be very straightforward. But just to give you a reference, my office is on, on Route 9 just a little bit west of 495. Yeah, I, 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 know, I know where you are, and I found it, and I've, I've read some of your uh, uh, IP dingman, and that you've got a, uh, a, a technology guy there, and you've got, how, how many people do you have on your team? Uh, well, I have in total five. Well, that's a lot, and that's... Uh, I, that's I, it's plenty. It's plenty. It's as much as I want, to be honest. Our, our strategy is uh, the fewer the people, the better, and the better the people, the fewer. Right. I agree. So uh, I, think, I think I have that. So I think I, you have that. And, uh, Brian, I, I'm, I make quick judgments. I've, I've already tried out one patent at attorney whom I didn't like. I've, I've been working with, with Boston University and a guy named Marshall Van Alstein, who wrote the Platform Revolution? He recommended LegalZoom. That has been very helpful to us. Uh, sure, it is. 
But I'm planning, I want to work with Andy Moore because he's right in the building of my, the same building that we started with in 1980, one. Oh. And the new, co the company that I've kept going all this time is in the, he, he's at, at 84 Sherman and the other buildings at 90 Sherman. Maybe you visited him there. Probably have, yes. Well, well, uh, I've been working with Andy since the, uh, oh, I don't even know, 93, 94. So did, I followed him wherever he's been. Did, uh, Brian, give me a little of your story, uh, just a couple minutes, and and uh, the, the things that you are most proud of. Okay, well, um, really, I have to say what I'm most proud of is uh, my children because they're doing very well. And I, I don't want to bore you with lots of family stories, but uh, they both live in the Bay Area, and I'm going to be seeing them in a couple of weeks, so it's on my mind. How old are you and how old are they? Well, I'm 62, and they are both uh, in their late 20s. And my children are in their mid fifties, and my grandchildren are uh, twenty three to fifteen. Hmm. Nice. Well, congratulations. So anyway, besides besides that, uh, I let's see if I give you a thumbnail sketch. Well, okay. Um, I've been practicing as a patent attorney for a, a little over thirty years, um, coming up on thirty two. Before that, I worked actually as an engineer. My undergraduate degree is in chemical engineering. Um, uh, but I kind of quickly, after uh, undergrad, um, while I was working, went to law school to become a patent attorney. And uh, what, what I love about the work is the... Uh, both the challenge and the interest in in learning an awful lot about what is typically kind of narrow slices of uh, inventions that are all over the map in terms of, of what they cover. So I, I'm very much uh, kind of a generalist in terms of my patent work. Uh, but I think I have a good approach that allows me to do quality work um, together with clients uh, to achieve their objectives. And, uh, you know, I, with 30 years under my belt, I think I've, I've figured, it out, uh, figured out a good way to not only work with clients, but also to work patent applications through the patent office. Well, I... I that's it. That's my story. The story's great. Uh, I, I, but let's do it. Uh, my my father was a chemical engineer with DuPont. Oh. And I lived in Wilmington and, and drove by the experimental station all the time. Uh -huh. And so I, I I'm not a I'm not an engineer. I'm an architect. Uh, but uh, will will uh, is this a, do, do you have a cell phone? Yes, I do. Let me take that just in case. Sure. It's 978-460-1191. And, and your, I guess I have your email, right? Uh, I don't know. Well, give it to me now, just to make sure. It's pretty easy. Brian, B-R-I-A-N. Yeah. Yeah, I have I have that. Uh, and do you know Tom Digman? No, I know of him, but he is not. I don't know him. He's not a relative. He he. Uh, I do know him. He he lives near me. He was dean of Harvard, and uh, but I just took, I had to ask. Yeah, I've had that question many times over the years. <laughs> I, I wish I did know him, but I, I don't. Well, you know the no, answer. I, I, yeah. Well, when you um, when you come to the house, we'll have him over so you can meet your doppelganger. <laughs> I, I will. Okay, so then um, 
Charlie, a plan in seeing you two on Thursday.